everyone, it's Lindy here from Mummy Life. I am venturing out today just for half an hour. What most of you don't know is I am a qualified hairdresser and I've dabbled in nails and waxing. I do have my qualifications in beauty as well but I didn't really focus on that um, but I have been out of the game for 15 years um, I didn't stick to my hairdressing and beauty job at a salon for very long there we go for very long purely because I um, I suffer from back issues and being on my feet all day and blow drying and doing the foils just played a major role having to work six days a week um, very long hours just didn't I, I, every night I would go home and I would have to have a hot shower ice packs on my back to um, reduce the swelling of my muscles um, it was just terrible so I only stuck with it after I finished um, my traineeship uh, for about three to four years and then I went into an office job um, but Three and a half years, but I stopped working about five years ago um, because of my fertility journey, and I just gave up work to focus on um, trying to conceive a baby, which I might do a video about. Let me know your thoughts if you want to know. Um, if you want to hear about my journey and what I went through. Um, but yeah, so, this morning I decided that um, because I've, I haven't necessarily put myself in lockdown, um, I don't know anyone that's got the coronavirus, but I am fearful of my kids getting sick. And because I am a stay-at-home mum, it makes this situation a lot better. Um, my son is a six-week preemie to getting sick very very quick um, at a higher risk of getting sick so um, I prefer at the moment to restrict how often or where we take them out so I will no longer be, be getting my hair coloured I normally do get um, foils in my hair I am typically a blonde but considering I don't want to take my kids and sit in a salon for hours you know three to hours I've decided just to do my hair myself which most people do but I will be going to a hair supplier store in my area um, I won't show you the name of the store only because there's only a few in Victoria. I'll try my best to video in there, but I haven't videoed in public, so I would be very, you know, I just, I just gotta give it a go if I can do it. You'll see it coming up soon here in a minute.
just got here. So we'll head inside and we'll see what I'll grab. All right, so I just got home and I thought I'll show you what I picked up. I picked up two colors. One is a 6.1, which is an ash brown because I do have red pigments in my hair. And the other is a 6.14, which is a chocolate color. Um, and I like the level six base. I also picked up a 20 volt formula, uh, peroxide and uh, nail tips and glue. I am gonna look online um, for SNS products. I wasn't keen on the products that they had there. So I'm gonna check that out, that out online and I'm gonna look forward to doing this myself. Like, can you see my nails? Not very appealing. Um, and I did jump into Coles real quick. They didn't have much, but I just needed to stock up on a few essentials um, that I could get my hands on. So I picked up a loaf of bread. I picked up toothpaste. Um, so a charcoal one and just a teeth whitening one. I also picked up two serves of these butter chicken and rice these are really good i just i pop them in the freezer and i um and on a day that i just want something different for lunch there's small servings as well or a or a dinner i just pop it in the microwave for you know seven minutes poke holes through it and there you go dinner served um this is only if I want to feed myself. If I have to feed my whole family and uh, my kids, uh, my husband and my kids, then I will definitely make dinner. But this is only if my husband's working a night shift and I feed my kids early, pop them to bed, I can have this for dinner quietly. I picked up two cucumbers, um, two capsicums. I want my hubby to make a curry tonight. Um, and that's why I had to pick up some carrots as well. I did run out and I like... I'm um, boiling these up, softening them up for my 14 month old. She loves carrots and cucumber, so I had to grab a few of those. Um, I picked up uh, cabana, my kids absolutely love cabana, and some champagne ham. I also ended up picking up um, these packages of um, honey leg ham. They last uh, a while, so you can see the 14th of May. So, um, you, you know, once I run out of that, I've got this on hand and I don't have to run to the supermarket. I also picked up a camembert cheese. Um, absolutely love these on crackers and I'm trying to um, watch what I eat and I know cheese isn't ideal, um, but I couldn't resist it. I picked, also picked up one of these hummus and tzatziki little things, dips, I should say. So I can dip carrot in it and, you know, try and be healthy as much as possible. <laughs> I also picked up two packs of mozzarella. Um, my son normally has this with on his plate at lunch. Um, or we run it through our pasta dishes or when I make it pasta bake in the oven. These are good to have on hand. I also picked up a feta. Um, I, I normally go through one night and then save it for two nights later and it goes into a salad. Amazing. I also picked up this green pea pasta. I didn't pick it up because of any other reason other than the, the shapes of duck. So it'll be something fun for my 14 month old to have. And I also just, I seen it and I thought, you know what, I'll just grab it. It was $3.50. It doesn't feel like it's very full, but I'll give this a go. It just gives her a bit more of variety because she is dairy, egg and nut. Um, she does have an allergy to those items, to anything that has those items in it. So, oh, hang on a sec. Did I even check the, yep, no, that's fine. Beautiful. I also picked up two um, packs of these um, noodles. I love them. And I know there's heaps of sodium in it, but in time of need, 
is awesome. <laughs> and I picked up one of these um, family coleslaw kits. I have, I eat this for lunch, half a serve. Um, and it's got the um, tangy soy dressing, which I absolutely love. There we go, $102.91. Well, that's it. Um, hopefully you like this little mini vlog. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a, a fair bit more of these considering I'm gonna be restricted on where I can go. And I am a bit, um, I am gonna try and do online ordering of clothes from like, you know, Katie's or um, Orange Sherbet, places like that only because I've never done online ordering very much because I vary in sizes from different companies. So I will try and order some stuff in, um, but yeah, I'm at the type that would absolutely love to uh, try on the item before I buy it, but I'll, I'll dabble in it. This weekend, there's lots of sales online, so I'm gonna have a look at that. Alrighty, so I'll leave it at that. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Um, hopefully, hopefully everyone's doing okay in this crazy world we're living in at the moment. Um, anyhow, I'll see you next time. Bye.